Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you find yourself when you see this message. I apologize that it's late in the day. I had a migraine, so I had to take care of that. Today's devotional is called Awakening to Spiritual Knowledge, and it comes from Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, which says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I also will reject you from being priest for me because you have forgotten the law of your God. I will also forget your children. In a, in a world that's so inundated with information, we assume that there's knowledge everywhere. And yet, Hosea's word reminds us that true knowledge, the kind of knowledge that leads to spiritual fulfillment and blessing, is not merely about facts and figures, but about understanding God's truth and his ways. Today, let us reflect on the profound truth of Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. God's people are destroyed because of their lack of knowledge. Um, and God's people were not destroyed due to lack of access to knowledge, but because they rejected it. It wasn't sc uh, scarcity of information, but a refusal to heed God's teaching that led to their downfall. In our modern context, this rings loudly. How many of us have been scattered all over the place looking for information on YouTube, TikTok, wherever we can find it, and yet we don't go into the actual word of God for ourselves or into his presence for ourselves. We live in an age of information that is overload, yet amidst the abundance, there's a dangerous tendency to neglect spiritual knowledge. We are bombarded with distractions that pull us away from the truth of God's word. In the pursuit of worldly wisdom, we may inadvertently neglect the wisdom that comes from above. Consider the consequences of neglecting spiritual knowledge. Just as the people of Israel face rejection from God, forgetting his, forgetting his law, we risk spiritual barrenness and distance from God when we prioritize worldly knowledge over spiritual wisdom. There's a big difference. But there is hope. This is an invitation to acknowledge is the acknowledge is ever present. God desires to reveal himself to us, to impart his wisdom, and to guide us into deeper understanding of his ways. It begins with a humble heart and willingness to seek and receive his truth and commitment to live according to his word. I pray this blesses you, that it draws you even closer to God. Remember, the best way to get to God is in his presence, praying to him, worshiping him, getting into his word, and have an intimate conversation with him. He is faithful to his truth, and he will provide. God bless you. Take care.